Okay. Sorry, that was a bit of a sidetrack. But now we know how commits work in Git. So let's clear my screen. Git status. On branch master, nothing to commit. That makes sense. We haven't changed anything from the initial commit. So let's do that. Let's edit this readme file again. And again, this has gone into the wrong spot. So, I promise that git is easy once you get used to it. And that's true, I promise, I promise you that it is. So let's save that and quit. And now type git status. Again, remember that git status is the big one. So, alright, we can ignore this tilde file. This is just a temporary file that's been created, so let's just delete that and type git status again. Now, this is important. This is one of the things that makes git different from subversion. So, changed but not updated. Mod so, it's noticed that the file readme.txt has been modified, but it says no changes to commit. What on earth does that mean? Well, let's clear my screen and type git commit anyway. Oh, there's nothing to commit. So, what is actually happening? Well, let's go back over to the blackboard and have a think about this. This is different to how most other version control systems work. So, Git has a staging area. So, we have our local... This is our local working copy. This is the staging area. And this is inside the repo. Now, this is how Git works. If we make a change to our local copy, so readme changed. Git knows that that file has changed, but it won't do anything with it until you change it. Oh, sorry, until you tell Git that to stage it for commit. So you can change anything in your working copy and then try and do a commit and nothing happens. This is because Git gives you the power to individually commit files that you want. So we can add this file only to the staging area and then when we git commit only commits changes that we've staged for commit. Okay, So if we edit this file and do a commit nothing happens. We, before we can commit this change to the repository, we need to tell Git that we want to commit it. So, how we do that? Well, like we used git add to add new files, we also use git add here. Git add. So let's try that. Let's go back over to our terminal git add readme.txt. Now if we type git status, you can see that there's a change to be committed here. Changes to be committed, modified readme.txt. What this means is that this file has been staged for commit. Now why do we really care about this? Well what happens if we change our mind? And we don't really want to commit this change. We want to do some more changes and then commit. Well we can type git reset And now if we type git status, we've this is now a change but not updated, so there's nothing to commit. Typing git reset essentially removes a file from the staging area. So if we have readme.txt in here and then we type git add readme.txt, so let's readme.txt adds it to the so this is an add. Oops. So once by typing git add we add a file to the staging area, meaning it's staged for commit. If we do a git reset, then 
Our changes are still there. So this is still changed. But we've removed it from the staging area, so it's not going to be commit committed. So clear. Let git add readme.txt git commit and we can commit our changes modified readme I'm gonna put short log messages in here when you're developing it's a really good idea good idea to put meaningful log messages in so we'll save and quit now if we type git status nothing to commit we've committed all our changes so let's type git log you can see now that there's two commits we modif the, this is the latest one where we modified the readme and this is the initial commit and you can see that these have very different SHA-1 hashes for the commit names now you might be thinking that having to type git add file every time we want to do commit is annoying and you're right it is it's useful but sometimes we don't really care we just want to commit all our changes so let's edit this file again I'm going to use vim this time make a small change type WQ if we type git commit nothing happens if we type git commit with the flag dash a this tells git to commit all the changes in your working copy even ones that we haven't staged yet so if we type that and press enter oops modified read me again if we do that git commit dash a it'll commit all our changes okay so what have we learned git re git git add both adds a file to the repository and stages it for commit git commit actually push it puts our changes into the repository git reset resets um, our staging area so it's important to note here that if we added multiple files here and did a git reset it completely wipes our staging area it doesn't just remove that one file I think yeah that's right okay now it's important consideration here and I'm gonna bring it up now because otherwise it'll bite you by accident so if we modify this if we oh, uh, I can work this if we modify this file again vim readme and just delete this line and then type git status and then type git add readme so now it's staged for commit Ugh. if we type git reset git status the, and then open this file again so it still has our changes there they're not staged but the changes are still there there's a flag to git reset called dash dash hard and when when you type git reset with dash dash hard as a flag it wipes these changes from your working copy and puts it back to how it was at the last commit so if we type that we're back to this commit and if we type git status there's nothing to commit and if we look inside this file the changes that we just made are gone so keep that in mind git reset just resets the staging area git reset dash dash hard actually ch re reverts these changes so that's very important to keep in mind to make sure you don't do the wrong thing so that's how we can add commit files and all that kind of thing um, and maybe we should stop it there yeah let's stop it there and then in the next our video we will look at some things in more detail so with that that's the end of this video thanks